contest is scheduled for one fall, and it is a first round match to crown the GFW Global Champion. Introducing first, from Los Angeles, California, he weighs in at 265 pounds, Chris the Adonis Mordetsky. Well, take a look at that, Jill. They say the best physique in all the business, that is Chris the Adonis Mordetsky. Wow. He has to be a favorite for that global championship. And his opponent. From Bayside, New York, he weighs in at 251 pounds. The Prince of Queens, Brian Myers. And here comes a 13-year veteran of the business. That is the Prince of Queen, Brian Myers. Of course, you can see him currently on the WWE product. He's on SmackDown as Kurt Hawkins. But Brian Myers, such a talented guy. He's been in the business for a while. Pro Wrestling Guerrilla, WWE, extremely talented. Mordetsky, you know him as Chris Adonis now fighting for GFW on the Impact program right there in the heavyweight championship hunt. This is a big matchup here in the opening round, Joe. Yeah, I like this. I've, I've always liked Adonis in this whole thing. I've always thought that Adonis and Rude have stood apart, but we, we still got to have these matches. When you have a guy like Meyer that's been around for a decade plus, He's kind of hard to overlook in the opening round, Cyrus. No, you're absolutely right. I mean, you could say he's a journeyman. He's been around, but he's always been in the hunt. Uh, he's been a tag team champion in a lot of places that he's been. And uh, yeah, Brian Myers is definitely skilled, and he really takes this Prince of Queens thing uh, very seriously. He's originally from New York, always wearing the New York Mets colors. You can tell he's a Mets fan. And here we go, trying to lock up with the very powerful Chris Mordetsky. I've seen you backstage, and you've actually struck up a pretty good little friendship with Mordetsky. It seems like you guys kind of hit it off a little bit. Mordetsky is just a very nice guy, but he also understands the business. He's somebody that takes it very seriously. You take one look at his physique, you know, they should be calling him the Adonis. I, I like that that guy's short from Mordetsky to the Adonis. When you have a body like that, and you'll have to take it from me, Cyrus, I don't I don't expect you to be able to, uh, to relate to this, okay. but this is a disciplined guy that wants to win a championship. I've been hitting the gym. Chill. I know it doesn't show, but I'm in there. I'm putting in the work hours a day. Up Myers and over. Goes up. Oh, and a beautiful, beautiful kick there by Brian Myers getting his offense in. But up and over. Now Chris Mordetsky. The power of Mordetsky throws him right into that ring post, and Myers is hurt. Not a lot of give there, Joe. No, it looks like the Prince of Queens has gone down. You know, if I was from Queens, I don't know that I would deny it, but I certainly wouldn't feature it. <laughs> Have you been through Queens lately? Yeah, it's been a little while, but I know where you're going with this. Yeah, when I called people, I would just hope they didn't look down at their cell phone and recognize the area code. You know, it's not really something you can deny, but if I was to suggest a new name to him, I would just tell him to be, become Brian from anywhere but Queens. Oh, the backbreaker, old school right there. Into the side of the ring, and the fans here at the Orleans Arena have been fantastic. Supporting oh. all of our talent here, all the athletes here at GFW. And man, he is just really working over the back is Chris Mordetsky. Really looking to injure Brian Myers. This isn't just competition to him, he is looking to hurt him. Of course, Mordetsky 
got started in UPW out in California. Of course, had a, a fantastic run with WWE and Noki uh, over in Japan. He's really been everywhere. And I said it before, is looking fantastic as part of the uh, GFW Impact problem. Brian Myers fighting back. Looking to gain a little bit of steam. Well, you know who that is, Jill. That is Nick Aldis backstage watching this very, very closely. He is going to have the winner of this matchup. Well, Desky will just not leave the small of Myers back alone. The poor guy can't get a break here. You know, I support that. I can tell you from the world of MMA, you attack one body part. And Cyrus, it doesn't matter if it's a leg, if it's a chin, or in this case, if it's the back. If you attack it over and over again, you're going to wear your opponent out. Now, yeah, we, we saw there Nick Aldis backstage watching this very closely. And, and there's something between these two when you talk about Chris Adonis, who is in, in a dominant situation right now in this matchup against Myers and Aldis. They don't like each other whatsoever. I feel like Aldis has always been a little bit jealous of Bordetsky, if you want my opinion on it. Why? Well, I mean, I guess that is one opinion. That's one man's opinion. I don't know if that's the case or not. Nick Aldis has been a, fa a fantastic wrestler of the years. He's gaining championships. Of course, a former Impact Wrestling Champion, GFW Champion, Tag Team Champion. Mordetsky definitely has credentials of his own, though. Right now, Brian Myers is in a bad way. It just seems like it's the beginning of the end for Myers and a slap across the face from the Prince of Queens. Mordetsky seems to really be gaining confidence right now, Fees. There's times, including this one, that he could be attacking Myers, but it's like he's he's playing with him. He's allowing him to stay in there. Is, is he ever low on confidence? I, I think that's the real question here. It seems like uh, that's definitely not one of his uh, low points, having confidence. And there we go, another slap. The disrespect just keeps coming between Myers and Mordetsky. Wow. The drop kick to the chest of the Adonis Chris Mordetsky, and now both men are down on the canvas. They are truly going to war inside of the GFW six-sided ring. Well, it's a miscalculation by Mordetsky. He had the momentum, he had Meyer down, and he wanted to stand there and talk to him. He wanted to show his body off to the audience. He needs to go for the pin. I just have a difference of opinion when it comes to that, Cyrus. I just think when you can get out there and do quick work, if you can get out there and get to the back with your hand raised, that's the best way to go. Definitely want to keep your eye on the prize. And Mordetsky is down once again. Myers is on fire right now. into the corner with a huge forearm. Brian Myers, the Prince of Queens, setting him up and sitting him down. That is the taste of pain, and he does not get the pinfall. Brian Myers, oh, so close, Jill. It looked like he was just about to pull off a victory over Mordetsky, but Mordetsky not going away. And now Myers is waiting for him. I, I believe Myers should be attacking him. Not every shot has to be the perfect shot. And a beautiful maneuver there. Put him on his back. Oh, Chris Mortensky. That's a slow count, ref. Tell him. Tell him, Chris, I saw it too. Come on, ref. A little consistency in this match. I have a lot of confidence on our GFW officials. Fine, fine men that can get their job done here. Well, he just missed a clean pinfall. Everybody would agree with it except for him, Nick Aldis. Nick Aldis still watching from the back. Remember, Nick Aldis will be the winner of this match in the second round of the championship tournament. And it looks like he's setting him up. Could it be the Adonis lock? Can he get it locked in? Can he clasp those fingers? 
towards it for now. And he hits the spear. Brian Myers. And that would have been a perfect opportunity to score a pinfall. Take a look at that spear. Picture perfect, Joe. Yeah, hits him right in the midsection. Mordeski down, goes all the way out of the ring. Myers got to get him up. He's going to need to get him back into the ring. Yeah, that's going to be a problem in itself. That's a big man of Mordeski, but Myers gets him up. Can he somehow use this momentum? And a big kick to the chops by the Adonis. There he goes. Get those hands locked, Chris. Get He's those hands it. locked. The full Nelson. That is the Adonis lock. Nobody does it better. Can he put him away? Myers is still alive. Not many people have been able to survive the Adonis lock. Oh, look at that lock. Now he's flaring the elbows. That's the key to this whole move. You get your hands locked first, and then you flare those elbows. It is good night, Irene. And that is it. A little nod to Michael Cervello there as Nick Aldis watched very closely. Now he 